About but, sharing that moment, Charlie. You know, you're the guy who jumps into your arms. What was that like for you to, to share that moment with Rodrigo? It was cool. Um, I, I don't know how it kind of started. I kind of did it, started doing it. I guess the beginning of the season, or maybe a little bit last season. I don't really remember, but uh, it was it was it was cool to, to pick up Rod. Uh, I think one time I did Superman with him. You know, I picked him up. He was like this, you know, showing off his muscles and everything. But uh, it was cool, especially to you know, he's, you know, he's an all-time leading scorer now in Georgia history. So it's, uh, why do you think awesome. the kicker gets as big a cheer as the quarterback? I don't know. I mean, everyone loves Rod. You know, he's uh, what is it about him? I don't know. I guess he's. Uh, no, I don't know. Other people just love him. Though. They love his uh, persona and charisma, I guess. We were asking about the, the, uh, Kay about the Georgia Tech. And you were on the team the last time Georgia lost to Georgia Tech. What, what do you remember about that game? It wasn't fun. I remember that. Uh, yeah, it was, I guess, my freshman year at home. We lost to them. Uh, it definitely was not a fun game losing to them. But, uh, I mean, that it's, it's you know, it's, Three years later now, we beat them two times in a row, so now I'm on, I'm on to the third time, and um, we'll, be, we'll be ready for them this Saturday. Charlie, you had a situation where you've been here four years, playing all these big rivalry games. Kirby Smart was saying that George has a lot of rivals. Where does this rivalry match up with, say, Florida, Tennessee, you know, South Carolina, Auburn, and those others? Yeah, all those other runs are really big, too, but this one's just that one that you kind of just look at, at the end of the schedule. You know, it's, it's that rivalry week. Uh, there's just a different kind of grit and passion that comes in this game that you like cannot lose this game. You know what I mean? You just want to beat these guys so bad. You know, it's just it's a really fun game to play in because uh, there's just so much passion involved in it. It's a fair to say it, of all the rivalries you have, yeah, that this is. While some others may feel good to win, this is the one more than any other that you can't afford to lose. Is that is that a fair way to say it? I guess, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just a really fun game at the end of the season to I don't know, just get after it and then play some. So just old school Georgia football. Mm -hmm. Is it any chippier than any other one? You say you know what you're going to expect, and it's fun. I mean, you know you're going to get more out of these guys uh, out of this rivalry game as far as how Tech's going to approach it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Tech's going to approach this game like it's you know, like it's the next one, and it's a, it's a really big game for them. And it's you know it's. Yeah, they're, they're that school in Atlanta, and we're the school over here in Athens. It's going to be a really good game. I think being in state adds a little bit of sauce to it as well. The fact that you know you grew up in this state, you're probably going to live in this state, you're probably going to hear about how would you do against Tech will be one of the questions maybe you get for the rest of your life. Yeah, I mean, I think growing up in the state definitely matters a little more. I mean, I you know, obviously can't speak for the guys out of state, but um, definitely living in state, you, you always know, like, oh, man, we got Tech the last, you know, last game of the season, you know. Um, I don't know. Just it's always that game that everyone looks forward to, and I guess it always has been. It's, it's, you know, it's a fun game. Charlie, Charlie, in terms of being a senior and like being around Kirby Smart and his family a lot, um, what type of memories do you have with his entire family, and how valuable is it to have um, Mary Beth and both of his children kind of? Be involved a lot. Yeah, no, they, they always come to a dang year every game, I think, even yeah. the away ones and everything. You know, uh, Coach Smart's sons are usually around at, at, uh, at practice, especially during during winter and summer. They're always out there during like, team runs and stuff and kind of goofing off, running around with us and stuff. It's, uh, it's fun. You, uh, I heard you ask uh, or answer a question earlier about Jake. I mean, what, what are people on the outside missing? I mean, you're on the inside of this offense. You guys are sitting here tending and obviously you're close to Jake. What are people missing here that are that are being critical of Jake from at this stage of his career? Do you think? I guess some things people miss is you know I guess some people think the offense coordinator calls a play and we run that exact play. It's just you know listening, but. For, for Jake, he's smart enough to handle, all right, here's the play call. You can do these four or five things if they give you these certain looks. Jake's smart enough to know, all right, they're doing this, I can do that. They're doing this different thing, I can do the second thing. Or they're doing this, I can do the third or the fourth thing. I mean, he's he, he can get us in that right situation, that right play for their exact defense that they're doing. Um, and a lot of people don't, you know, don't see that. And so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty, not a lot of quarterbacks can do that, so it's pretty special. Georgia Tech's really undersized on their defense on the line. Yes, you guys are not on the offensive line. I mean, how much can you guys uh, kind of assert your will with just uh, wear on down in a game like this? You know? Yeah, I mean, we're going to do what we're going to do regardless. I mean, you know, we're Georgia football and we're going to run the ball. Um, but, uh, you know, as, as far as their, their weight and everything, we didn't really. Um, 
I think we'll be able to run on them and you know, wear them down and uh, we're just going to do what we're going to do. I know you've exhausted the rivalry at this point, but Kirby talked about how there's so many rivals for Georgia, but what is it about this one that you think makes it a little bit edgier, a little bit spicier? I think it's just it's in-state, you know, it's just the grit and passion that comes out of the players, especially the players that are from the state, um, that when this game happens every year, it's just a... Doesn't matter how good the teams are. Um, there's always a, a different level that you know everyone plays their best in this game. Do people still two talk more about? Questions. Do people still talk about 2016? Uh, not really. No, I mean, None of the seniors do. I mean, we, we remember it. We just don't talk about it, you know. And just it definitely wasn't a fun game to, to, to be a part of losing them at home. But uh, definitely remember them tearing out the heads and everything. But uh, you know, we've we've done well these past few years. Are you aware that George has not lost to Grant Field in 20 years? I wasn't aware, no sir. That's uh, that's pretty special though. It's cool. What what does that mean to hear when you hear it when you go over there to keep that alive? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Continue the tradition of, you know, uh, just really good and dominant George football. You know, going over there and keeping that tradition alive and winning there, um, you know, it means a lot, especially to the to the, to the past players, you know, that have, that have played here and that are done, um, continuing their legacy over there. Thank you, Joe.